the movement for cooperative ownership is gaining ground in New York City. Producer Jonathan Klett brought us this report from Damayan. The word means to help each other. This is the Damayan Cleaning Cooperative. We want to connect the cooperative work to the organizing work of the man. That's our goal. Because uh, economic power can lead to social justice. Right? So that's what we're trying to do. And let's make it work. We thought of the co-op as a way of helping our members, particularly the families of trafficking survivors, because they came here at the worst time, as we know. You know, there are no jobs for the all their children, the mothers and the fathers, especially who came here, could not find jobs. A business should not really make the boss rich and very rich <laughs> and make the workers poor and so poor that you know you cannot you know, uh, support you know, children to school, uh, right? You cannot have you know, a dignified life here. Our people don't have jobs and so we get out of the country and end up becoming domestic workers here. Damayan has a campaign against labor trafficking. Many domestic workers who work for diplomats and other really powerful employers, you know, find themselves in trafficking situations. We have supported about three dozen traffic workers. I'm um, one of the labor trafficking survivor. I came here because of the invitation for the church as a missionary. In my contract, there's a promise that after two years, they can be able to adjust my status. I was approached by the leader that they will give me, my continental director will give me a special mission. It was like a, secretary, a personal secretary, but it was not true. I was doing the domestic worker. I was with the young kids, three kids. That was through 24-hour job. I, I don't have salary. That was three years. 2003, I managed to escape to, because they wanted me to go home. This family was taking advantage for me. I don't have anything. That's why I don't want to go back to Philippines. Because it's really hard to wear. I'm going to start from the scratch. And what kind of job I, I'm going to find in my country? So, in short, so it was really hard. I'm very exploited. It was really very controlling. They took my passport as soon as I came to America. They took the pa my passport, my documents. When you work individually, especially if you're in the uh, domestic work industry, you're on your own. But if you have a co-op, you know, you're the boss. You set the wage rate, you set the work conditions, we thought that maybe we can make our own business. Right now, we have a small contract from one of our ally organization, the Nature Conservancy. So the unfair economic system is global and we have to break it, right? Breaking it, you know, will not end to 
helping individual workers retrieve stolen wages or helping an individual trafficking survivor get a trafficking visa and get her family over here. Change, you know, uh, will not be affected by a small, isolated victories. It should be systemic. And in my view, a cooperative can do, can show the workers, you know, how a systemic change should be. will bring us together like the guests for what I experienced that's my story but the rest is different for me but if you put them together it's like yeah we needed a job we need one decent job we want a fair wages it's like we are putting together the power of the women power of the workers <laughs> yeah. we need to effect change and who will be the real agents of change I believe it will be the workers, the people who are directly affected will be, you know, the agents to change the system that are not really working for them. We have to do something. So this cooperative and the cooperative movement should show working people, you know, which way to go. If capitalism is not working, cooperatives should show that through collective work, good jobs, fair wages, dignity, and equal opportunities for all, you know. Maybe it can happen, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.